Recently, we've been asking for suggestions on patches or questions to cover in videos here on the channel. One of the requests that stuck out to me was the use of the second volt per octave input on the XPO. This, of course, is a relatively unusual feature on a single oscillator, so what's it for? I generally like to think of this as kind of like a transpose input. It technically is an exponential frequency modulation input that is unattenuated and summed with whatever's happening at the other input. So for example, if we take an attenuated audio signal and patch it here, we're gonna hear much the same result as we would at the attenuated Expo FM input. As the audio signal grows larger in amplitude, the depth is going to get greater and greater until it overwhelms and creates enough sidebands that we no longer hear the original frequency as a clearly recognizable note. An important difference between exponential and linear FM is that with Expo, we can hold a value by sending a DC voltage such as random stepped CV or a sequencer. Patching a similar signal to linear input We can hear that static values are not held and instead they're turned into transients. Let's hear the difference between linear and expo with a gate output. Or even while being sequenced at the same time. So again, the volt per octave inputs are DC coupled and any unchanging voltage will cause the oscillator to hold that pitch indefinitely. We can even hear it when simply patching an offset to this input. And of course, this is also what allows us to sequence the oscillator. Why would we want two of them? As I mentioned before, I usually think of this second volt per octave input as kind of like a transpose input. Let's take an example. Here we have, of course, a sequence from the X channel of Rene, and we could use the YCV for transposition. Let's start by just using the latch page and select varying transpositions manually. I like transposing manually like this because it lets me sort of select exactly when and how much I want to transpose. One thing you might notice is if you sequence your transposing voltage at a similar rate to the main sequence, the interval adding may start to become arbitrary and any sense of tonality may start to be lost. take advantage of this to make the sequence become more or less tonal by simply speeding up and slowing down the transposition. Without 
getting too deep into music theory, the simpler intervals we tune our transposing sequence to, the more in keeping it will feel with the original key. For example, if we disable everything except for C on the Y quantize page, this transposition will strictly be octave shifts and even very fast clocking through octaves. At different ranges will sound like we're playing the same notes as we have on the original sequence. fourths, or on the quantized page, G and F, can add some more variety without sounding like they stray too far from the original, but generally the more notes we add, the more it's going to sound like uh, key changes as well as pitch changes. Another thing we could do with our two vault per octave inputs is have our sequences alternate and stack in an interesting way. So, uh, for example, let's take slower clocks to the mod inputs on both of these Rene channels. These clocks are the same rate, but they're out of phase with each other. So if we turn on uh, run stop on the fun pages, The X sequence will run, then stop, and the Y sequence will run while the X sequence is stopped. Each channel running only when the other is stopped. So it's basically stitching two sequences together into one longer sequence. But here's the thing, whenever, uh, whichever note a given sequence stops on will still be added as a transposition note for the other sequence. So, if we make the two sequences different lengths, will transpose to a different node each time through. creating a continual set of variations on the same basic melodies.
ideas do you have for using both pitch inputs on the XPO? What other patches or questions would you like to see covered on the channel? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy patching. Yes, I am finished with the microphone.